I'm going to stray away from Harry Potter now a little bit. Um, this is a song. It's a true story about an alien invasion. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> I'd like to tell you a story of life, of love, and loss. Robots and ninjas and alien armies, but mostly of Sandy and Ross. They lived in a city and they were in love. Their wedding was set for the day. The stars would align and a portal would open terrestrials extra at bay. Oh, we didn't stand a chance. Oh, didn't even have time to pray. Oh, they blew our world apart. Oh, they took Ross away. Sandy was left to fight off the margins for Ross was taken to space. They broke him and they disassembled his brain, a specimen of the human race. The aliens put him together once more and told him about their plight. Their world was torn, the wars had destroyed it and forced them to take flight. Oh, and they needed to know oh, how the humans could thrive. Down on the planet, the humans were desperate, the aliens had them in camps. But Sandy was smart, and with her fellow captives, together they formed a plan. She had been jailed with two kung fu masters whose skills were second to none. They broke out of jail and took out four guards and started off on the run. She recruited an army of hooded ninjas on dinosaurs. Stronghold and so began a kind of war. All the Martians were taken aback, but they had some more tricks up their sleeves. So every fight, the warrior robots they had on their side. Can't sing anymore. <laughs> Back up on the ship, Ross was running for his life. He escaped his captors to save his future wife. Came upon a room with spare robots inside. Reprogrammed their weapons to meet them allies. He stormed the throne room and held up the king. And the king simply said, What a curious thing that this human would strive to put on such a show. But for what reason, I truly don't know. And Ross simply asked as he held up his arm whether Sandy was safe or had she come to harm. And the Martian then knew what his species was lacking. Instead of loving, they were always attacking. They packed up their bags and left not a trace and went back to their home in the middle of space. And Ross 